So this is going to be a video for my Leos. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading. Now, if you're new, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a beat in the future. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just check out the description box or the comment section. I also post daily horoscopes on my Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot or on my Twitter at Mystical Crystal, just like how it's spelled here. Just look me up and follow me. And let's get into the reading. Oh, also, if you are going to book a personal session with me, there's a slight delay. I'm in the process of moving. I'll be completely moved like within the next week. Um, so the only sessions that will be delayed will be the um, video sessions. They may be delayed like a couple of days. The only ones that won't be delayed are the phone sessions. Um, of course, if they're not like, you know, like right up under each other, of course, that would be different. But um, my phone sessions, I am going to make priority. So, yes, keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and get into it. The first card that we have, Leo's, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So... Mm, this is the energy of you turning down something. This may be the advance of someone. So this could be like someone trying to like get you to commit to them and you having to turn it down or make it clear that that's not necessarily what you're looking for. Or like, again, just feeling as if you don't really connect on that level in terms of being in a relationship with said person or even believing that it may be stable enough to sustain. This is also. Hmm. This is also anxiety and also instability in a sense where like there's a lack of stable income coming in or a lack of knowing where that career where that um yeah career would be what that career would be for you that will make you feel stable and secure um this could also be just some of you guys needing to have more of a a better relationship with money this is the way you spend money this is your perception of money this is also your just overall understanding of money that may be a little off okay and then this is also some of you realizing that something just isn't as stable as you would have hoped it to be or what you believed it to be because this person may not be, you know, as involved in the connection you guys may have had with each other at, like they were at one point. So this is like them making the effort in the beginning to make the relationship work, texting, calling, all of those things. And then now it may be like pulling teeth to get them to be consistent in those efforts, for example. Some of you are also like wondering like why you're having financial problems. Where is this coming from? Or some of you having money, but still feeling unhappy in a sense. Okay, we also have the page of cups in reverse here. So, hmm. So this is you possibly, like I said, turning down somebody who may be slightly immature this card is usually for a young child <laughs> so you may be dating somebody of course who's not a young child but someone who acts like a child who, who literally acts like a little kid or someone who's just emotionally immature like emotionally they may be someone who like they're naive or like they they're confused about their own personal feelings. So they move in a very confusing way outwardly with other people. Yeah. Some of you guys also may be um, experiencing pregnancy or birth, but you could have a partner who's like emotionally immature and not around for that. This could be also you dealing with somebody who's just like very deceptive or like someone who's good at like bamboozling people or like emotionally dumping on them. 
or like somebody who's just a distraction. You guys may be realizing that somebody is a distraction ultimately. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or really any zodiac sign that you may be um, dealing with romantically where you're realizing that, dang, this person is off. We also have the Five of Swords. So yeah, Five of Swords, this is like brutal arguments, things being said just to win the argument, but not necessarily like really being meant. So this is like somebody saying just really disgusting stuff to you in an argument, not necessarily meaning it, but just trying to win the argument. And it's like, yeah, they won the argument, but they didn't win the whole battle <laughs> in the end. Yeah, this is also, hmm, you guys realizing that nobody actually wins in a certain scenario you guys are in. So, for instance, this could be like you being in a messy third party situation for some of you. Only listen to this if it applies. You being in a messy third party situation and, yeah, you may get the person, you may, you know, get the girl or the guy, but there's no guarantee that the person's going to stay and it's like an empty victory in a sense. Some of you also need to broaden your vision and basically your principles um, in terms of what you're looking for. But yeah, you guys may have someone around you who's like very manipulative or short-sighted. Some of you could be short-sighted sometimes. Things like that. Now, next card we have, we have the Hierophant. So yeah, you guys may be married to the short time, short sighted individual, or you guys may be having to really look closely at your marriage and exactly why it may be needing more work or where there may be a disconnect or how you can better support your partner. Some of you are also considering marriage or whether or not it would be a smart idea to marry your partner. This may have been on your mind for a while now. Um, some of you could be even dating somebody who's married, like they're separated from their person and they're, you know, dating you. And you could be questioning as to why this person's not like fully getting a divorce. Some of you also may have someone around you who may be giving you some really good guidance during this time frame. So I really would listen. Um, and some of you may be even going into like more of a search in terms of like your inner truth and just truth in general, in terms of your beliefs. Some of you are also looking at your, your day-to-day -day actions and how it's affecting your overall experience. But we also have the lovers in reverse. So yeah, another thing that's going to happen during this time frame, there's going to be a hard choice that you guys are going to have to make here. And you guys are going to have to make it based off of what makes the most sense. And you guys need to make sure that you're not making decisions that don't wholeheartedly align with the path that you're trying to go on. So make sure you're not making any long-term decisions that's going to actually put you in a bad position more than in a better position. So what's the Angel Answers card? For my Leos here. So we have yes. So the answer is yes to what? Okay, within the next few weeks, you guys are going to have a peaceful resolution. And you may be hearing a yes back from something that you may have been waiting for um, an answer for. Okay, or there's going to be a confirmation that makes things super clear for you in terms of what you need to do moving forward. So this is what I see. I hope that you took something from this video. If you did, thumbs it up and subscribe. Check out the description if you want a personal. And I will see you in the next one.